fluctuation in the roster. So they could be, on any given day, I think they could be fantastic, and I think they could be less than we're expecting. So hopefully this is a particularly good day against this Na'Vi lineup, but Na'Vi has been proving themselves very deadly with FNG and Vanscore. They picked up two fantastic support players to compensate for what they lost. I'm a little upset about that, actually. Because you, I loved Power Rangers too, man. Believe me. Did we already have this discussion? How Na'Vi yeah. are literally just the Yankees, and they just take yeah. all their favorite players. Yeah. They took Funnick from Empire back in the day, and then they went on a rampage of being an incredible team. Uh, and now they take one of my favorite players away from Power Rangers, FNG. And again, Empire probably hates Na'Vi so much, they take Vanscore away. Uh, I'm sure most of those things are all mutual for the players moving and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, the Navi team, it hasn't really shown us what it's completely capable of yet, but fantastic players on it, looking forward to what they've got. And Fnatic seems to be in an interesting place. Uh, we can see they actually do have some stand-ins here. Uh, I think come with me. I don't know if he's officially on the roster or not, but... Five seconds remain. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, all y'all may notice that Fnatic actually has zero reserve time in their band. There was, because the game was delayed and it was technically because Fnatic was missing a player in lobby, they were penalized with their, uh, their reserve time. So, they have to ban. It should make for a very fast pick ban phase at the very least. Yeah, that's true. That's how Star Letter works. Like, if you're late, you just lose your drafting time, and it can it can hurt you a little bit. Although Fnatic, pretty much going back to what we see them do a lot, especially what they did when they had Excalibur, uh, just going with that Tinker, and before that they picked up the Void. Na'Vi, though, with those strong intelligence carries, semi-carries, potential support with the Silencer, those... Nature's Prophets? <laughs> Silencer. It's interesting. We'll, we'll see what comes of it. Do you think that's going to be enough? Like, I like... Tinker can just blow them up, and Void, even with a little bit, can kill both those heroes pretty easily. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, Silencer is pretty strong against Tinker if you actually get the Silence off, but the problem is, did you get initiated on? Yeah. Five seconds. Silencer is one of those heroes who has to be, like... He can't even be in Vision most of the game, because you have to be able to pop that ultimate. Yeah, and Silencer, that, that ultimate, right? Like, it's a pretty long cooldown. We can take a look at it here, the uh, Global Silence. It 130 is a 130 second cooldown at all levels, so a little over two minutes. And if you use it and it's not a good ultimate, you're essentially screwed for the next two minutes. Like, the other team can almost do whatever they want during that time period, because they're really only scared of that Silencer ultimate. Uh, maybe if Silencer is a core, it's a little different, because it can get Axe Refresher at a decent time. Um... But it, it's tough to play that Silencer. I do not envy uh, the people that get put on Silencer in those uh, core positions, or even as support positions, at professional play. It seems terrifying. And Nyx Assassin, probably the most obvious pick of the day, uh, besides the Drought earlier, comes up to deal with both the Silencer and the Nature's Prophet. Yeah, very, very nice pickup potential coming up right there. And just, of course, build off that intelligence, man. You scale with that intelligence, Nyx scales with how bad he just burns you to death. What do you think? We're going to see Vanscar on the Silencer? Didn't he kind of specialize in that a little when he was on uh, Empire? Yeah, and he played it in like that 4 role and, and like always yeah. got a lot. And I think, uh, was it EGM that did it for Alliance? Kind of the same sort of situation? Yeah, I think so. Always able to pick out a lot of items on that Silencer, even playing it as a support. So maybe we see that again, but what's Navi going to draft now? They've got a little bit of push. They've got, uh, I guess, the big ultimate for that team fight and the silencer, and they need to fill in the gaps. They need some intermediary stuns, a bit of damage, maybe some more push as well, and strong laners, but they'll just, you know, all intelligence heroes, I guess. They're going for the Rubik right now. I mean, maybe they want to go the all-in strat. You never know. <laughs> they could. Could do that. It's all right. Who, uh, who are we going to get next? will be good against Tinker, at least. We're going to get, like, OD next, and then, uh, like, I don't Dude, know. Dude, OD's going to be so in the mid. good! Yeah, that's that X change is really, really good. I think anyone who's underestimating that is a fool. Just the just the essence aura of proc at forty at all times. Yeah. Like just death ball with O D with like O D bristle or like O D bat rider, like anyone who spams. Like a spammy lineup with O D now will be just dominating at like level like they don't even need any levels because now you can put points into your orb earlier on O D. It's gonna be crazy. Sorry, six point eight two has got us all excited. Can you imagine blowing up an about. entire team's mana pool? Like just boom, <laughs> you're all. Uh, like, I think map. Invoker can imagine that pretty easily. Yeah, but his is an instant. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But he's just like up. poof, you're gone. It's gonna it's be gonna nuts. Be uh, things to come. 
This game, hopefully, is also going to be kind of nuts. Navi's got me a little worried, but who am I to question right now with their draft? If they, you know, execute it, their plan here, maybe it's going to be fantastic. Maybe it's going to crash and burn, but with Viper up right now, Viper, Tinker, and Faceless Void on Fnatic, I do not envy having to play against that draft. Yeah, well, it's just... Uh, like, did any one of those heroes... And any hero on that team can just catch you out of nowhere and pick you off. I mean, especially if Viper goes for, like, a Blink Dagger or something later in the game. Name one of those heroes that can't just come out of the fog and kill you. Like, Rubik, Silencer, Furia, not exactly known for building tanky items. No, oh, or being tanky at all. Like, the only thing that got a go. little bit is the Null Field, and here comes your first, first sort of tanky hero. Uh, looks like he will probably be a core, but again, it, it's not guaranteed. Well, silencer. It depends what Silencer wants silencer? to do. Yeah, uh, yeah no, I probably really not. Put it, I don't know, dude. It's a Vost. I mean, he much does whatever he wants. Like a Vost I mean, we already saw Nature's Prophet mid today, so... That's true. That's very true. It didn't work in the end, but it started Should've out worked. real strong. It started Should've worked, strong. but didn't. Well, but also, I mean, you're going to be against a Tinker, who is a little tougher to deal with than um, uh, a Lycan, I feel like. As soon as the March of the Machines gets going, you just you can't even use Trance, because you'll just feed him extra golden experience. They ban Visage. That seems interesting. Do you really, I guess just because it's something for Tinker to Boots of Travel to. Uh, if that's the idea of the ban, do you think Fnatic maybe go for... Who's left with summonable units? I guess anyone who would build a Necro or Beastmaster, yeah. But there's no slot for a Beastmaster. They need, they need a support hero. There's always a slot for Beastmaster. There's no slot for a Beastmaster. It's the master of men and beasts, all right? You don't question Beastmaster. You just listen I, to him roar. I question whatever I want. Alright, maybe a little if, bit. If it, been, if it had been Beastmaster, I would have been really salty right there. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so funny. I would have just... My, I have a desk mic, but I would have picked it up, dropped it, and walked away. <laughs> Dude, you're the cameraman. Don't leave me. F you, Twitch. I'm out. Don't leave me. Alright, Puck's uh, on topic, so it's gonna be Denny Puck. It is Havos Silencer! Of course it is, like, come on. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's, it's a host. of course he's here. Why would you do, like, a core Wraith King, who's, like, kind of a natural sort of core, when you can do something sense. stupid, like, core Silencer? It's Maybe FNG's not, not birthday, stupid, like... he wanted to play Wraith King, so he got what he wanted. <laughs> Dude, FNG gets to carry today, it's his birthday. Exactly, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Havos is gonna support, FNG's the carry. Dandy, though, on Puck. We saw a Puck already today just tear it up. I think it was Dude, Mo it was for sick. Album Sheet. Yeah, and it he was. had, like, 100 five-man Dream Coils, I think, if I had yeah, to quantify something it. something like that. I mean, I'd, I'd, it might be closer to, like, 102, 103. I think you yeah, might that's true. Couple. I'm a little off. I wasn't keeping count the whole time. I had a little uh, tally I was making. Fnatic have no idea who's playing what. They, like, picked heroes, and they were like, all right, we've got these heroes... What are we doing? Now there's fun. Finally uh, filling in the slots. We got Buggy. Oh, hello. We're in the game. They ran out of time. Um, and we'll start, I guess, with... Okay, well, we won't start with Fnatic because they don't have people on their team. So they will be doing no uh, research gathering here. They're not going to be doing the any jungle. Strat. They've, they've, yeah, the 3v5 shot. They'll, they'll load in the other two later after... I mean, if you can't win with Void, Viper, and Tinker, then I don't know. It's a problem. It's a problem, yeah. All right, here we go. We got uh, Come With Me. He'll be playing on the next Assassins. Uh, Trixie is going to be up on that Jakira, the pushing twin-headed dragon. Buggy on the faceless void, also going to be uh, synergizing well with that uh, twin-headed dragon. Same thing goes with the Viper, the Drake Dragon Strat, as I like to call it, with Nether Toxin and uh, Liquid Fire. You obliterate towers. It's Matumbaman. Um, yes, I will say that correctly. Hani on the Tinker, and that's Fnatic's lineup here. They're playing on the Dire. All right, over on the side of Navi, FNG handling that. I wish it was a core Wraith King, but it's definitely oh, going to be a support. <laughs> he's got sentries, okay? It's core, dude. It's, he's got sentries and smoke. Stop lying. He's only got two tangos. Core right, so. or support <laughs> is just a, a state of mind. <laughs> so we got FNG going to be handling the Wraith King. Uh, Havost will be playing a core silencer. I'm pretty excited for this. Dendi playing the puck down in that mid lane. Van score taking care of that Rubik. The Van score Rubik is pretty darn strong, if I'm remembering right. Just and then good. Funic will be playing the Furion. What a surprise. And then I'm very, I'm very surprised. The carrier, very surprised. The flaming dragon carrier. Is Phonic just like ready to give up the offlane? He's got three clarities right now. I think he's just starting jungle. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, well, he got Treants first as well, which isn't you know super uncommon for either role. But um, I, I mean that's that's a nasty offlane to try to play against Nyx and then Jakiro if he ends up up there. Well, looks like Jakiro yeah, temporarily just the Nyx should be blocked. Do you think they're gonna dual lane mid? 
and do like Drake Dragon mid and just try to push down the tower? Or is he just just blocking with illusion? He's I mean, like I, I would, right? Because Dendi is like nice. the only he's like the glue for this team to hold it together a little bit. So if you slow down Dendi, you slow down I mean Dendi's so used to this though, right? Like how many people do duo or tri lane against him in the middle lane to try to stop him? Uh, maybe not as much recently, just because the, what the mid lane is and was, you know, kind of changed. It's just like where you farm instead of making those big rotational plays. But it was Dendi who was, you know, one of the biggest players that did that. Like, he would rotate and he would change games. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, as much as I love watching RTZ, I hate that he has changed the, uh, changed how the mid lane kind of plays. Him and a couple of other players. I think uh, Miracle also kind of helped with that. I mean, the mid lane was too easy for Arteezy, so he had to change it. Like, well, it's just, it was, it was, he started doing all the very farm oriented mid, and I was just like, uh. Whose fault is that I really, like though? Let's be honest. It's definitely Fear or PPD's fault. God. If we're, if we're oh, gonna play oh, the blame I, game here. Hey, check it out. Oh, uh, is that Come With Me Flaming? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's pretty standard. This is, this is not new. <laughs> now I'm flaming. A boast, a boast with the counter flame, and then some hearts. I think these hearts are maybe not completely truthful. But, I don't know. Like, you know, well, here's the thing. The one thing I love about Star Ladder above everything else is that the rules are applied equally, no matter what. Yeah, they There's do. No good stupid job, bull crap. There's nothing like that. If you're late, I mean, it can be a really unfortunate reason, or it can be a really stupid reason. You're getting penalized either way. It's, I mean, that's just yeah. kind of how the state of it is, and it keeps things running on schedule as opposed to four hours late like other events I've been a part of, you know? Star is one of my favorite <sighs> things to cast for that reason. Indeed. Uh, so Buggy's down here, you know, nested in these trees, as we can see. This is never going to happen again. There's like a million paths through here in 6.82, so the offlane is changing dramatically. Uh, if you're going to do this, it's going to be more down here, I guess, where we see actually FNG. He's, he's looking for him. Uh, which is kind of <laughs> <laughs> He's not over there, FNG. You're getting pretty close, though. I wasted a tango. Yeah, that tango, man. That efficiency, FNG. Come on. It's your birthday. We won't flame you. Dendi in the middle lane, though, having some trouble going against uh, the Fairy Dragon versus the Nether Drake here. Uh, even though those titles, I think, have been dropped, I don't really care. Uh, forever in my heart is where they remain. See, uh, the Drake the middle lane. His name's in the game. I love that. Dude. Yeah, it was. It was pretty sick. 5-0 and oh and 7-2. and two. So Dendi's actually farming okay. He's getting harassed a lot. And his bottle is actually on the way here. On, uh, look at this courier name, the sixth player of Navi, bringing it out. Way to not oh, it's pay attention when I circuits. said that. Yeah, it's oh, you said circuits that actually going to, uh, I'm sorry. I it's going it. out to Furion, dude. He's doing the triple null talisman build you're so fond of. Of course, Phonix is doing that. I mean, <laughs> he probably started it. It wouldn't surprise me. Honestly, I still think my favorite weird Phonix thing was the, uh, the Dire Side Marana Ancients, where he would just yeah, cut and through the trees and farm well. ancients. Yeah, that was the Wind best. Runner at that time, actually. Yeah, it was not Wind Ranger Ancients, thank you very much. It was Wind Runner Ancients, and of course Medusa. Dude! Alright, sorry, 6.82 talk, guys. I know it's Navi fanatic, but like 6.82 is such a big deal. Are they trying to make oh, Medusa like the most Kabuki. OP hero in the game, or what? Havos knows he's up there. Maybe he doesn't, maybe he was just eating that tango, Boogie. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted a tree, I think. Oh god. I really... I wonder how long they're gonna manage to not find him. This is pretty great. He's level. He's almost level four, dude. Yeah, Three dude, minutes. he's doing great. Like this is They're like. Well, oh, guess Buggy's jungling. He's jungling. Talk about easy like, off lane, man. Jungle void. Well, they gotta be seeing him get it, getting the experience. Well, here's the okay. If they were really thinking about it, then they would know. Okay, he's getting about the same experience rate as Havost. Oh, and now he left. Why did he leave? Yeah, well, because uh, the, the, the creep wave. Tower, he yeah. can actually maybe get some CS here at the tower now. Yeah. Immediately uh -huh. greeted with the curse of the sign. Couldn't they have tested? I guess there's no indication that you land your Curse of the Silent. It's not like a Marana Arrow or anything. Yeah, but at the same time, I mean, the guy has to burn off spells at least. You could just, like, throw him around. Yeah, they could have. I'm saying they could have maybe dropped some in the tree to maybe force him out, but I don't know if they ever would have. At, I mean, honestly, at that point, if Buggy had even died. Oh, first blood in the middle lane for Dendi. We won't How did that, that of even? Course. I don't know. How does he kill Viper with the magic? Does the corrosive skin scale? No corrosive skin. He goes like full aggro, so none of that extra magic resistance allows Dendi to pick up the kill, and he's second in CS right now. He's 22 and 11. Tinker for Fnatic, though, actually, Hani are right in line with that uh, 24 and 13. Yeah, now Dendi actually doing. So he's got another 1200 gold, already has his bottle, is halfway through level 6, so he's in really good shape right now. Oh, they're gonna go for Trixie. They got the Dream Coil off. Funic gonna TP in. Ice Path gonna catch that Fury and as he comes in, but just not enough damage. Funic barely takes a single hit, and there is a very, very dead Jakiro. 
Oh, that's an all talismans? That's what you get for taking Dendi's runemate. Dude, he took he took the DD. It was for Dendi. You just get punished for that kind of stuff. Yeah, so standard Trixie play. Dying there on the Jakiro. Sorry, Practical Trixie. Feed. I actually love, I love Trixie. Trixie. He's a good player, but the, the, the feeding joke is just... it's I can't pass it up. I'm having the opportunity to cast him here today. Uh, two and zero for Navi though. Dendi with one kill, and of course Funic picking up the other. So those remaining core members of Navi, you know, getting in uh, their worth here. As what do we got? Havost. He's building up into a minus. I think it's actually just on the courier now. The recipe is there. The boots coming out for Dendi and the bottle. So treads and bottle all coming out for Dendi. I'm sure he's been bottle curing already, but he's gonna look to be uh, pretty strong in the middle lane right now. Matum. Bum in, just with the Wraith Band and a bottle, so no boots. That's a slow hero, man. 285 move speed. Well, he'd be OP as heck if he was fast, man. He's already True. too strong. And he's getting nerfed a little bit. I think the Corrosive skin is, honestly, I think that's a really good change uh, yeah. for going into 6.82. Well, I mean, it's it's similar to a lot of how Ice Frog works. He doesn't like to change the core, like, uh, iconic skills of the heroes and, like, make mm -hmm. them too weak to be useful because you want them to be good in their intended role. But you, oh, Matumba Man might be in a little bit of trouble here. He is going to snap that Dream Coil. He's just going to wait. And with Funic TPing in, this is going to turn into a push, most likely. They've got the, yeah, uh... Funic already level 5, 3 points in nature's call. So well, maybe not. He's just backing trades. off. All right. Never mind. They don't want Mid Tower. Mid Tower's not good enough for Navi. <laughs> I think they want to keep it because they want to keep the lanes forced, or maybe. I don't know. Seems like you'd want to take the tower so you could rotate up and start putting pressure on uh, Hani here, because Hani, up in the jungle right now, on the dire side, being scouted out by Trance. He's got... Look at this stack, though! Hani's very close. He's already got Bottle Soul Ring. We're at six minutes, and he's honestly very close to finishing up his boost of travel. Even a two yeah. stack over here, and I think this was like three or four. Yeah, it was really, really well done. We haven't really been mentioning that for the entire game, but there's been a lot of really good creep stacking going on for that Tinker. And here's the thing, also, I think Navi would want to take an earlier advantage, because I don't like their late game nearly as much as I like Fnatic's. I think Fnatic has more heroes that have the potential to be strong right clickers, and also the tanker is just a dominating force, and he works really well at stopping the Furion Rat in particular. Like, he's probably the only hero who gets around the map fast enough. Oh, they're going for Viper nice again, again, no corrosive skin, he's very squishy, he will die almost immediately, but a v very big uh, liquid fire, all three heroes burning down right now, Trixie barely lives. And Hani trying to slow down the push, he will drop out the March of the Machines. But yeah, when Fnatic's line up, they're giving up kills now, but when they get online, it's going to be terrifying. Void, 7 minutes in, is already level 5, so Buggy's going to have the Chronosphere up pretty soon, Boots of Travel online pretty soon, and Nyx Assassin, since uh, Hani's been jungling, come with me, he's been getting a lot of experience up here. He's almost level 6, so you'll have Vendetta online, and the lives of Navi are going to get a lot more difficult. Yeah. I mean, the, the Vendetta obviously will be a pretty decent pickup. I'm wondering like, what Havost wants to farm. He's gone for in for a Hand of Midas, so he's getting the fast uh, experience in gold, obviously. I would expect him to just go straight for some sort of durability items. Or, like, maybe, honestly, you could theoretically grab a mech on a on a farming silencer like this for tanking purposes and pretty then popular. go into some damage items. Yeah, I, I think th most people just go straight for the Ags, though. Like, you got the Midas, you want Ags refresh. Maybe a BKB. Like, those bigger items will come out faster with them. I don't know, man. You're, like, the only real right-clicker on that team. I'm not uh, sure you want to invest... I don't know, dude. Funnex got three Null Talismans. Right-clicking for, like, 90. Freaking Furion. Now what? Is he saving up 1650? Is he going to go in for a Midas? No, he's going to go Blade Mail. Oh, God. Treads, probably, then Blade Mail. That's usually... That's... I mean, Blade Mail is such cheap damage for Nature's Prophet. It really 32 is. 32 for, like... Oh, the first chrono of the game on the two. FNG going to be the first to fall here for Navi. Uh, invisibility rune. Buggy's actually going to scoop it up, and he won't continue to attack Dendi. Doesn't want to mess with that. His chrono was already used up, and Dendi probably would be able to kill him. As uh, something else is being delivered here, the sixth player of Navi bringing out... It's just a magic wand here for Dendi as he looks to uh, engage in more and more battles here. Wants that magic wand up. Hey, man, this uh, level one mana bird from Come With Me is hitting for 170 on Phonic, and that was because Phonic be ran out of mana with it. Oh yeah, it's gonna get much worse. Let's see here, how boots much should it be? There you go. All right, so about nine minute boots of travel. Oh, he's looking for the vendetta hit. There we go. He's waiting oh, that's for the it. To come in. He oh, missed he the misses stun. It. He missed the stun. Come with me. You had it, man. Oh, you seem kind of like stuttered the stun real quick. I think he thought that oh, Honey was gonna juke. Buggy <laughs> will go down in the bottom lane. Uh, just to actually just to host advance score. That's uh, a lot of damage coming out for them. 
Just uh, the last word doing, what, 250 damage right now and a maxed Curse of the Silent. So once he's lifted up, last word proxy, Silence, you throw down a level 4 Curse of the Silent, like, you die. It's too much to deal with. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. And I actually gotta go back. Uh, someone on Twitter, uh, Damon R, Damon Risu, he said there is an indication of Curse of the Silent. I wasn't sure. Uh, there is a voice line if you connect with the Curse of the Silent. So they could maybe have used the blind one there to scout out the void earlier on in the game, but... I thought I he only says big, the... Too big of a deal or not. Does he only say the, the curse you line? I thought he said that... Yeah, he not. might just say curse you if it lands. I'm not sure. I thought I thought he said that every time. Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. Hey, I learned something new every day. Thank you. Or we were lied to by some handle? guy on Twitter. Shout him out. Uh, it's Twitter. I already did. D-Man yeah. Risu. D-Man Risu. Thanks, bro. There you go. Five to one though, ten minutes in. We'll switch over to net worth now. We see Havos, 66 CS, the most of the game. Also top of the net worth at 5.2k. We got Tinker at 4.6. Hani's doing incredibly well. Just farming up the jungle, and since he's in the jungle doing such a good job, he will get scattered out by FNG now, but FNG is probably gonna die to this. He will still die in the march, so Hani gets a kill, but then he picks up another one as well. Actually, Phonics Wrath of Nature will get it now. The wraparound on the bottom lane onto Havos. They have a Chronosphere if they need it, but they shouldn't, and the Mana Burn, what a Chrono, man, right on the edge, doesn't get his teammate, and there it is, they use two ultimates, but they pick off the Silencer, and now Fnatic's starting to regain some ground, but to the middle lane, Matumbamin, I'm gonna struggle to say that indefinitely, uh, 6-3, though. See, I just think Matumba Man. Matumba, oh, thank you, that was yeah, easy, Matumba that's, that's how I do it, Matumba Man. It's not that bad. Right, it's not see, anymore, now that you've I used to, I used to have Dikembe Mutombo on my basketball team locally, so that was uh it's easier for me. That's what I keep wanting to say. <laughs> like not what his name is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> basketball. Not Dota. Are you sure? Dota's better. Dota is better. <laughs> hey, um let's be real. What's his name? What's his name would uh would disagree with you? Lin Sanity? Yeah. I don't know if he Lin. would, man. No, but Basketball they, they been fuse for him. Alright, there's the there's the blink dagger on Puck. So Dendi is and he went in for treads before blink. Really good. And he still time. got it in eleven and a half. That's very, very good. He's sitting at sixty and twenty one for CS, so God dominating that Viper, and you'd think that's a lane. I mean, I I was mentioning two games ago how the people that are really effective against Puck are people whose harass methods are on a lower than six second cooldown. And he had that. He had a Viper up against him, and he managed to just crush him. I mean, there were a couple of rotations, but the health. first kill was one v one. The first kill was one v one though. Yeah, and I missed it, so who knows what happened. That's, I mean, no points in Corrosive Skin. Just one point in Corrosive would have been enough. I, I don't I don't think he needed all these points in Nether Toxin. Like, there's a reason people leave it at one or two these days. I guess he really wanted to contest the last hits, but where has that got him? Dendi's sitting at 66 and 21. Viper only at 40 and 7. So Dendi with more denies, more last hits, and more kills. Looking at the net worth difference, 5.7k on Dendi's puck to that of about 3k on Matumbaman. Yeah, I mean, the problem is, an, an underfarm Viper, he doesn't really catch up particularly well. I axe. mean, you're used to him Rebels. just... He's a lane winner. He's supposed to come out of his lane very, very strong. All right, there we yeah, go. that's kind of the awkward silence. thing, though, when you pick him up, and then he just doesn't work out, and then you're like, what do we do now? As Funic, the yep. Global Silence goes out, trying to keep him alive a little bit longer. Goes to TP, but he can't make it in time. Now Dendi there gets a Spike Carapace, but it's not going to matter too much. The Orb connects, he gets another right-click in, and now in the bottom lane, Bunky in some trouble. FNG with the stuns. Where's Havost? Uh, where is Havost? Actually, Havost TP top. It's Vanscore and FNG in the bottom lane, level 7 on Rubik. Level 7 on the Wraith King, Reincarnation skilled up. Uh, not taking that big num strategy. It was probably really overall like. a uh, a good trade for come with me though. I mean, he picks off Phonic, he loses himself, so oh, he gets Trixie. all the experience both for picking off Phonic. Trixie's gonna fall. Oh, Dendi even throws down the coil, so Honey can't chase this. And they go for him as well. Void has TP'd over. He's gonna drop in uh, the Chrono right onto Dendi. Dendi in the march. Don't think he's getting out of this one unless he can phase. Oh, he had about a millisecond to do it. Now Havost is here. They're looking to fight. Last word onto Buggy. Can they kill Honey though? The Chrono is stolen by Vanscore and dropped onto Honey and come with me. But now Matumbin up onto Havost. They're going to bring down Havos, so he will die taking his second death. He's 2-2, two two, 81 CS on him. But Vanscore, you talked about his Rubik plays. Some plays, man. Chrono is an interesting spell to steal. Obviously, it doesn't work on Void, but it will work on everybody else. You have to be really, really careful not to put it in a position that's really advantageous to the Void either. Because he gets all those buffs while he's in it. I believe he still gets those in Rubik's Chronosphere. Who? Void. Void? Yeah. yeah, the movement speed and stuff? Yeah, he still gets like the move speed and everything yeah, else from Rubik's Chronosphere. So you have to be That's really, hilarious. really careful not to unintentionally give the Void a huge advantage. So Vanscore, he stole it, and then you can see him actually wait for Boogie to leave. 
before he was willing to drop it. Which is good patience on his part. Yeah, and Boogie oh. was pretty low too. I think he was out of mana, and the last word brought him down to lower than half HP. But here we go, the push in the bottom lane, the Treants FNG with that uh, aura. He's got three points in Vampiric Aura, actually none in stats. So FNG takes a little bit different of a skill build, um, if you can even call it that, since stats isn't really a skill. But yeah, usually people put one point. It doesn't matter too much, honestly. I, I don't do it anymore. Like, if you build Treads or like a Bracer, there's really no point to get stats, in my personal opinion. I mean, I will I will never have a problem with getting a little bit of extra stats on Wraith King for throwing out the extra stuns, but, you know, whatever works in general, if you can get the fast treads, it's certainly a good thing, and if you can get, like, a fast wand, I mean, he's gotten a reasonable amount of gold for being in a, in a support position. He's, like, almost on par with that Viper who's had a really difficult time in the middle oh, of the Fnatic, trailing That's by three kills. Thought. Trixie, yeah, it is depressing. Uh, the twin headed dragon here left up alone. Dendi's going for him right now. Can they stop this? They have a dream coil. Are they going to use it? No, FNG had a Wraithfire Blast, but it doesn't look like they could get that vision in the nighttime in the tree line. Uh, they'll, well, they'll get come with me instead and should take the tower afterwards. Fnatic not in a place to help, you know, stop these uh, tier 1 pushes at all. Hani just trying to farm up as much as possible, taking out the Radiant Jungle where he can find farm safely. Buggy pushed out in the bottom lane, might get some tower damage. As a Trixie TP'd out and is starting to rotate back up towards top, or really just stacking for the Tinker continuously. It was a really, really ballsy TP coming in from Come With Me. I don't know what he was quite thinking. Especially, think I, he maybe he was trying to get the spiked carapace out in time, but the quick silence coming out from Dendi obviously canceled that. But I don't know, man. If he, if he had shift queued that, he might have at least gotten a stun off. Maybe been able to take someone Is down. Is going yeah. Dagon? I mean, if any game you're going to go Dagon, you start off this strong. Yeah, he's I would, got I would think so. He's got the staff. If you can have Blink Treads Dagon by like... Oh, no, nope. He's going Yules. Okay. Yeah. I like Yules better. Like, it's so good now that it disables Blink Dagger. Obviously, that was the big change. Um, I like it. Creep blocking with the Chronosphere. I'm assuming he was about, was about to, to run out. Yeah, he yeah. just wanted to cast it. That's a, a little bit of a mana investment, so maybe just a little weird for Fanscore to go in for that, but I guess he's he feels confident. He's always got mana boost, TP yeah. in from Phonic on the bottom lane. They do have that uh, Global Silence coming out for Boogie, taking a lot of damage, and finally a waning rip from Dendi, making sure that he can't get out. And that's Blink Dagger picked up on Tinker, and on the other side, Yules finished up on Dendi. Looks like Come With Me is maybe going for this puck right here. He's pinging him out. Does he the think he has the damage to take him out alone? That's a big mana burn, a lot of intelligence heroes yep. here, and he does have the damage! Nicely done, that's gonna, well, not delay the item too much as it was on the courier, didn't quite get delivered, but Havost and Phonic trying to get the kill here, is it gonna be enough? The last word should proc in base and bring him down? Boom, it is, he dies in the base, never a good feeling dying in your own fountain, which will soon be raised. Yeah. So that's, that's my graphic for raising elevation of the fountain. <laughs> well, aren't they uh, increasing fountain attack range too? Yeah, I think it goes from like a 800 to 900, and Vision goes from like 1,000 to 1,200, and yep. I've made up those numbers, but they're both being increased. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's basically anti-fountain camping. Just, well, I like that it's still possible, right? I'm, I'm glad it wasn't, wasn't removed or anything like that. It's going to be really, really hard. Dude, fountain, uh, you know, like when teams, even in professional games, like they take a rack, they're like, oh, let's go some people in the fountain. That could like be really, really big throw potential these days. Cause, like it's going to be hard <laughs> to fountain time. <laughs> well, at the same time, if you're at the point where you're fountain diming, that's generally because you have like a two, a two racks advantage at least. Sometimes. I, I've, we've, we've seen strange Oh, Funnikin and Chroma right, down Funnikin. the bottom lane. Yeah, going to be going to drop Macrofire and Ice Path. He's not really dying that fast. Also, that's that's Blade Mail as well. Trixie takes a lot of damage, doesn't quite go down. Oh, the urn, he's gonna die. Gonna oh, no, oh, positive urn to meet it, though. What's going on? This HP battle right now. It's like Kamehameha. Positive urn. Uh, oh, he will live. Negative. Yeah, positive. Except actually, um, not, not come 6.82. It's gonna get removed because it's gonna be pure damage. It's gonna be sick. All right, Matamba Man is in a little bit of trouble. Come with me is there. Will not miss that impale on FNG. And that's the reincarnate. He was only level 10, so this is a five minute reincarnate. He almost did it. He almost got to level 11 without even dying. You get to that Dendi 160 wants, cooldown. No, change his mind. As I don't think he's gonna come in. Hani's really strong right now. He picked up a 16 minute blink. Oh, the the silence silence off. Off. Dendi will come in on the back of this, dropping a two man coil right now. I think Tinker snaps it almost immediately. Dendi says, here I am. And there he goes, retreating out there. Uh, he also has a gem that FNG purchased, so.
Well, FNG's ult goes off, but he doesn't die, so actually, Fnatic don't get any kills there. And now look at the bottom lane, Havost and Fnatic pushing out the tier twos. Yep. I was like, post Aghanims, we might be going for, uh, is he just gonna go Ag's Refresher? On, on Havost? Cause he's got the Oblivion Staff, do you think he's going Refresher, or do you think he's going, um, uh, Orchid? I would, I would think Refresher, honestly. Oh, he's got to go Refresher, yeah. You pick up the Minus to go for the two biggest items. You go Ag's Refresher, and then maybe you Pit Stop for Boots of Travel, but I would say BKB is probably his third item, and the Midas is just there to get there faster. Yeah. And uh, we've been corrected again. I like it. I like that people are throwing on the Twitter feedback right now. We've got, uh... No, you don't get the move speed instead of Chrono. Oh, okay. If, uh, if, it, if it's cool. Rubik's Chrono. Okay, cool. Good to know. Shout, shout him out, man. Who was he? Uh, I was actually my, my old number one fan. I don't know if he's my number one fan anymore, but it's uh, Fro Rio. Fro Rio. I can never say his name. There we go. Fro Rio's got us covered. He does, indeed. Hopefully, he's not lying to us. I don't know. We could just be being lied to. It's uh, possible. FNG. It's actually going to become with me. He's actually in trouble because there's a sentry down already. He will get out of that range. But remember, Dendi's got that gem that FNG also purchased. So 13 to 9 to get another kill. Come with me. Try to make some space. FNG. It's his birthday. He can all chat if he wants to. Throwing out the little smiley face. He can chat if he wants to. He can leave yeah. his team behind. I, I, I would have. Yeah, I would have preferred an emote, but you know whatever. Dream coil dropped. Dendi diving the tier two right now with the haste. He will actually big, kill big Honey. Off. Honey, no buyback right back. now. And now they continue to fight. Buggy's gonna jump in. The double Chronos go off. What is this? And now Havos is gonna be focused here, but he's pretty tanky. He's got a lot of stats up there. Buggy does not able to kill him now. FNG and Fnatic is coming Mansfield. down. Yeah. Oh, I mean, how can you not steal? It's the only spell yeah. you can actually steal, so of course he's got it. Trixie trying to TP out there, the Sprout for the Vision, and they will bring him down, and wow, Vanscore with the Chrono again. That was ridiculous, man. This is a really nice zoning Chrono, because you have, obviously, Boogie trapped a couple people in his own Chrono, but then the rest of the team was completely cut off. They couldn't throw anything in. I think Trixie got around to the other side and managed to drop the Macrofire, but nobody else could do anything. Viper couldn't be throwing out auto attacks, which is really, really big. The Tinker was already dead. There was no potential for Come With Me to come in, throw out a stun, throw out a mana burn, just get his damage going. And now, off that teamfight win, this is a very slow Roshan. This is a, a dangerous kind of attempt they're making right here. I think they're going to get it just in time, maybe? There's not much to contest besides March. I mean, there's no Chrono. And the March will come in. And actually, Dendi's still going to go to be aggressive on this. He's going to uh, get come with me, but immediately stunned up. He didn't get the Aegis. He's going to go with the, the Yule Scepter. And can he blink out of this? March is just running out one second here on the blink. He will blink out, and he's going to be just fine. Matumba Min in a bit of trouble. FNG caught the macro ice bath. He will fall. Still just recovering uh, from that five minute uh, ultimate timer there, I believe. Now, of course, he's level 11. And the Aegis is going to be popped. That was uh, Havos giving up that Aegis. Dendi picked up a double damage. I heard him. He looks to rotate back over. I think he's... Was he bottle crowing? Or he's already sold the bottle completely. Yeah, he has sold the bottle already. 3,000 gold, though. And Dendi's in inventory. Do you think he just goes for a sheep, probably? Yeah, I think he's got to be going yeah, for a sheep. Especially against a tinker. I think it's the only thing that makes any sense right now. Yeah, the stats are going to be key. And yeah, Havost is like the sheep 400 too. gold away from... Uh, Yes, that's gonna be very frightening. Good point. The sheep active is quite good, but refresher's almost done. 14 second silence. Are there any BKBs done? No, Viper is still like about 2,000 gold away from his. Uh, Boogie has not even started one yet, and those are the only ones that are even coming up. I mean, it's not like you want to go for one on Tinker. It doesn't really do him a lot of good compared to some other stuff. Yeah, looks like he wants to go for the sheep stick himself. He's got uh, Hani's got the ultimate orb in the inventory, so it won't be too much longer before he gets it. He's still farming up a storm, like. He's pretty close in terms of net worth with the three heroes of Na'Vi, and that's the problem. You've got three heroes on Na'Vi ahead of your Tinker. Tinker at 9.6k, about tied with Dendi, and then Funic at 10.6, going for that sort of new school build, the cheap slots, inefficient, uh, but gold efficient. That's a bit of a mouthful, but the blade mail and the sheep stick, and Silencer way out front with the Midas. The refresher is finished in 100 gold. Yeah, one sheep stick already done for uh, Navi. You have the ultimate orb coming up for Dendi. Only about oh, 1,900 gold. Oh, uh, yeah. He might be able to get through this. He's got the blink. Yup. Just blinks into the trees. Good decision. Knowing that Come With Me was ready to just kind of go after him if he blinked anywhere but the trees. Yeah, they know he's there. They're pinging him out, but he's just going to TP. Well, orb. Excuse me. Close enough. Same thing, really. Oh, come With Me still looking. Come With Me still looking. Oh, with the gem. Gem's on Dendi. Look at FNG. This is this, this is so much bait. Come with me, getting so cocky right here. They're gonna try and get the stun. They got the silence. Furion's going in. He has the sheep if he wants it, but they don't even need it. 
come with me so much aggression right there. I mean, I, I, you know. <sighs> He's an aggressive player. I know, I know. Do? It's just like, it, it's one of those things where you know he has a gem, so obviously you really want to kill him, but you also know he, he sees you. <gasps> no potential. That score has time walk stolen, and he dodges the chrono with Void's own ability. Man, that's can we, just, uh, we need me. some people to just, like, highlight reel this game, because I'm sure with the amount of plays Vance Gross been making, we've probably missed a couple, and I bet they were epic. Yeah. And he's, he's gonna, gonna have a blink and 20 gold. Up. Yeah, and I mean, for now, Time Walk's a pretty darn good thing for a Ruby to have. Time Walk Lift? Pretty good. Pretty you good. don't have that annoying wind-up that Faceless Void has? Cause you're yeah, Ruby actually, Time Walk's one of the better spells for him to steal. He just, yeah. like, bloop. Basically a blink. God, there's just so many spells on Rubik that are just... So ridiculous because of your 0.1 gas point, or is it 0.01? Arrow. I think it's pretty good, one. right? Arrow is pretty good. Yeah, um, it's, I'm, it's actually, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, Mecha Fire. Looks like Dendi is gonna pick off Trixie right there. Come with me, gonna go and try to get something done, but they're gonna get the. I don't think they want to engage this. There's too much support coming in from the dire side. Oh no, the, Havos! They've got the refresh. Silence, like Havos can just kill people from across the map. The global right? silence goes out. That's and one. Me is dead again. Uh, that was actually both. Oh, did he, did he burn yeah. both silences? Uh, well, the refresher. I don't know if you burned uh, them no, no, right refreshers. in a row, but yeah, no, no because used. the refresher's got it's been on cooldown for 90 seconds. There's no way he did it. Uh, ten, yeah, 10 yeah, seconds so. ago. No, so we're not able to get a second one because we're bad. Only used one. Whatever. Whatever, man. There's a lot Too going legit. on. Look at this courier. How can we focus on the game? Dude, Navi um, sixth player. Too legit. He, dude, he's got like a mini firefly effect. So much damage. So much damage. That'd be really funny. Dude, Courier voice lines are coming out soon, pay too. Power. Dota's gonna get crazy. Pay for power. Macro Pyre to try to uh, stop the push a little bit, dealing with those treants, but their magic resistance that will also soon be going away keeps them alive pretty Thank long. Thank god. Uh, yeah, right. The tower, though, in the bottom lane, taking a bit of chip damage here as Void pushes up a smoke for Fnatic. They have the Chrono available. They can try to get a big one, but Van Score might have other ideas about that. He can easily... We've seen him stealing Chrono quite a few times, which generally is a spell that Rubik's never even looked for, but he's already made two plays with it, and they've been pretty awesome. I mean, it's just... Uh, well, a lot of big ultimates like that, you just kind of can steal and pop, and it's just a huge turnaround. It's not quite so for Chrono, which is why you don't see it focused on quite as much. You need to really think about how you use it, because you're not able to actually do anything to the Void. But he, I mean, he's been doing that, he's using centuries. it very tactical. Again, Buggy can't find a Chrono! He tries to drop it on Vansker, you think he would have learned his lesson. Rubik blinking away, expecting that, and... And he got the Chrono again, <laughs> too. Smiley faces again. It's not your birthday, Vansker, you can't all chat. Uh, they didn't even have any vision on that. I don't know how they saw him. The Dire had a ward up here. It just ran out. There's the Chrono. Uh, but not so much. And the Chrono now onto Matumba Min. And Vanscore gets that move speed. FNG with the stun. But Will, a nice defensive ice path here from Trixie. Going to try to keep him up. But Vance, or FNG just wants to die in the middle of anyone anyways. Let's see. One silence he can do. He's got a double silence in 10 seconds. And this team fight is going to last another 10 seconds. Dendi with another two-man Dream Coil. Forcing Void to leap away. And now Hani is actually going to fall there to... Funic and Havost, I mean, they win the team fight three for nil, and Havost doesn't even have to use either the silence or the refresher, and definitely not both of them, or both silences, that is. And they take the tower, take the re-kills, and it looks, honestly, from this point on, to be a fairly easy victory for Navi. They've been dominating this game since basically it started, just looking at the two graphs. Already 20,000 gold and experience ahead. Oh, Vanscore getting so aggressive right there, jumping right There's into your vision. The silence comes out. Look at all the damage good one. taken. Yeah, I mean, the it's, is it's enough to force them back. Yeah, and, and that would be the problem it. if the he silencer was a support, though, right? Because if you use the that silence, then Fnatic will destroy you. But the fact that yeah. Havost has another one queued up, he's a little short on the mana right now, but... Yeah. The fact that he has another one means they can still stand here and fight, and they will topple the tier 3 tower in the middle lane, about half health on the tier 3 in the bottom lane, and well, actually, the tier 2 is still standing up top, but Fnatic pretty much forced to turtle up in their base right now, as the Sheep Six has been finished on Dendi, FNG will finish out the, uh, the Blink Dagger, as he probably looks towards Blade Mail. Yeah, item progression coming along nicely for them. For the side of Fnatic, not so much. Hani's been stuck on the Blink Dagger and the Ultimate Orb for a while, not able to get the Sheep Stick. Buggy has been on the Mask of Madness for a long time as well, and not able to get much more. Uh, so, they're pretty much at a standstill. Yeah, Buggy has been, I mean, he just hasn't found the kills you want a Faceless Void to be finding. And honestly, I think that's partially because, well, the Void himself is a strong hero, he's a lot stronger when comboed with someone who can actually project a lot of damage into that Chronosphere. And oftentimes, they've got a couple heroes who can do that. They have the Viper, they have the Tinker, they have the... 
the Jakiro, but he's not really pairing with them a lot. He's just kind of going in and thinking and hoping for bashes. Yeah, and well, the tier two tower will fall. It doesn't look like they were thinking about defending it. Buggy was positioned up here in the tree line, uh, but obviously Phonic would have scouted him out pretty much right there. Yeah, if you put the trees over here, at least the sprout gives that slight flying vision. Uh, they could have seen him perhaps. So he backs off. The tower goes down uncontested. Phonic to get the last hit. Phonic actually r probably really in a battle right now with Havos to try to get the first in net worth. He's probably trying to chaos Havos every chance he gets, but it's going to be hard as the double Curse of the Silent. Possible to triple Curse of the Silent uh, with the double silence and then actually landing your curse. So, yeah. Although I'm not sure if the global silence curse replaces itself or if it stacks. That is a mechanic yeah. I have no idea about. You still have 45 seconds before you have the refresher available again, but they do have the silence ready to go. Freeze is gonna FNG, land on the FNG. Get caught. He's got the mana for reincarnate, he's okay. Just being upped by 20. Oh, now he doesn't anymore, he needs to. That stun he threw right after getting mana burned cost him that reincarnate, and now Navi just has to back off. I, I think he kind of wanted to throw it, right? Because he would have died completely away from everybody. It would have been a useless reincarnate, so he just dies and backs off without putting his ult on cooldown. Well, maybe. Yeah, he's it's not level 16 level yet. Yeah. If he was level 16, that would be a lot more questionable. I can kind of see where you're coming from. So Tinker's just gotten his Hex. So he's going for a more traditional, kind of old-school Tinker build with the faster Hex, as opposed to the Dagon that kind of became popular uh, during this version. But because he's playing from behind, he didn't really have the opportunity to blow a bunch of people up with the Dagon. I like it. Mm -hmm. And it's just, in general, I think the more stable build. Whereas the Dagon is much more of a snowball build, which of course has been very strong this patch, but still somewhat situational. Yeah, Lockdown for the Puck, who is 11, 2, and 6, is also always yeah. pretty recommended, I would say. Lockdown for Dendi. Yeah, just Dendi in general, or even Phonic. Phonic uh, has got the Blink, got the Sight the Vice, of course, had it for a while. Hani just finished up his, as we talked about. The Blade Mail on Phonic from way earlier in the game, and now a Demon Edge, so... Daedalus or MKB? I gotta, I gotta go Daedalus. Um... Hmm... I don't know. I mean, uh, there's no reason. No one's building a butterfly, and it doesn't yeah, stop. Yeah. Uh, backtrack anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you that. I mean, I mean, Void. Yeah, he won't. He wouldn't be going for a butterfly for ages anyway. But yeah, Daedalus. I would. I would like to almost see a Desolator more than a Daedalus, but he's just gonna go for it, I guess. Because Could I be think rapier. they're doing. <laughs> I just think there's so much. Uh, you want to get up that hill as fast as humanly possible against this Tinker, and you want to take out those buildings as quickly as possible, so you don't have to stand in the march for too long. Yeah, and again, if you can just use the Daedalus to kill the Tinker, who cares, right? Yeah, Tinker, as you mentioned, didn't go for the Dagon build, so he doesn't have that Ghost Scepter either. So he's very, very susceptible to the right clicks. And I don't know, I think the, the Ghost Scepter with the Rearm is one of the things that makes him oh, Dendi's in. As Dendi jumps in, he will sheep up the Jakiro and then doesn't have to worry about anything else because there's no BKBs and Navi's got a Global Silence. Trixie is still alive, he finally falls, Dual Sceptering up, now Buggy's alive, but another Silence is coming out. FNG gonna throw out his ultimate there, Havos running in with that BKB that he did get third. Phonic onto a killing spree now, Mega kill for Havos, it's a double kill for Havos as he just walks through through like the juggernaut glowing with that BKB, bringing everybody down. They lose four. Honey, the only one to survive. The middle lane of Rats. Oh my god. And it is the Rapier. Oh, and he's just using the Rapier to do Roche. I like it. As his team just wins the game. Phonic not really too concerned about anything right now. I mean, they are just four manning, but at the same time, like, if he gets picked no off, dude. Yeah. Well, he's got Aegis. That's why he's just sitting there doing the rush. And he yeah. buys the rapier, and he won't even be able to finish it in time. So, well, the game's going to yeah. end. Funic with the rapier feeling good. He's going to feed it away, maybe. <laughs> or just try to kill Trixie real quick. Does not attack yeah. very fast. So, I feel like in general, Navi had control of that a lot from the early game. But when there was potential for Fnatic to get stuff done, there was always a little bit of overaggression coming out. Especially, you know, I don't want to point fingers, but a couple of times come with me really, really overaggressive. And, and kind of feeding away a little bit. Trixie, yeah. I mean, that was not his, his role, best though, game. Right? Honey, not his like, best game. Just even if Come With Me role. died silly a couple times, it was just to make space for the Tinker, which he did, and for the Void, who, you know, got his levels, yeah. but never really... I don't know, Buggy's Chronos being completely whiffed on Dance Score like three times in a row, like, yeah. that's like a moral defeat right there. <laughs> even yeah. if they were ahead, you feel like you're losing uh, if you're playing that face as Void. Yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, fun game, though. I, I liked seeing the, the core silencer that I originally put out there as a joke and then it happened.